a Team 10 exclusive. Their job is to save lives. And now former employees of a local ambulance company say the owner drove off with thousands of dollars of their hard-earned money. Team 10 investigator Melissa Masiha joins us on this story. You found the owner a very hard guy to track down. Yeah, he was, and that's what employees are saying. Employees say the owner vanished into thin air, and they had to take their complaints to the labor commissioner's office. We're talking about ER Ambulance, a company that was based out of El Cajon. I'm hoping to get an internship this summer. Chris is a college student, worked for ER Ambulance for two years. It was pretty busy. I'd work more during the summer. These are photos of his mobile workspace we found on the company's Facebook page. It's a busy job, but one Chris enjoyed. I really just uh, wanted to see what it was like and found it to be a lot of fun to actually get to work with people and care for them. That is until last summer. I went to half staff um, after they had some issues and eventually they said everything was canceled and pretty much the company disappeared overnight. Uh, Chris so says the company disappeared along with his paychecks. How much money does the company owe you? Uh, I'm owed about 1500 in wages. Now with fines and fees from judgments by the labor commissioner's office, he says ER Ambulance and the owner, Rafael Silva, owe him about 7500 7500 What could you do with that money right now, uh, being in college? That's a year of tuition. He's not alone. Team 10 found court records showing the company owes thousands of dollars to others as well. We went to the building where ER Ambulance operated from on Johnson Avenue in El Cajon. The company is no longer there. Chris says it went out of business. The current occupants told me they've been here for several months. I tried calling a number listed for Silva. It's disconnected. If you had the opportunity to talk to him, what is it that you would want to say? I mean, I guess I'd, I guess I'd probably just ask him what his thinking is on, on not paying his employees. Um, I mean, we, we know he had the money. And Chris said some of that money came from selling a whole fleet of ambulances. He wants to get some of that hard earned money back. But since he says Silva hasn't shown up to any of the court hearings, he isn't sure that's going to happen. Melissa Masiha, Team 10.